right, okay, this is all cam. And this is not a spring chicken. One of the things we always do whenever major holiday comes up, and special days, is we talk about them. Well, you know, they change, they're not the same, they're never done twice. Well, here's the problem. They're not the same, they're never done twice. Well, here's the problem. Same, they're never done twice. Well, here's the problem. Twice. Well, here's the problem. Her bird well, the fourth. So in the is like well what happened? I was I was premature, so you know. Uh, I, I, but I, I, I did know Abraham Lincoln, but I didn't know George Washington, so that's why I'm that old, folks. So actually what it means is I, I knew, I, I'd met Frederick March who played Abraham Lincoln, but actually I met Barry Boswick who played George Washington too, so he's a nice guy, folks. Mm -hmm. But my da I mean, my little one really loved Barry Boswick when he was hosting the 4th of July celebration. Uh -huh. Yeah, because he, 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 he was in Greece, he sings and dances. And he really gets wound up about those things because he brings his little girl out and they perform so. But uh, I like them. Uh, and what people uh, and what people in the but uh, of independence on what date? July fourth, seventeen seventy six. Remember the music was seventeen seventy six. Yeah. Declaring independence from the Kingdom of Great Britain. Independence Day is commonly associated with fireworks, parades, barbecue, carnivals, fairs, picnics, concerts, baseball games, family reunions, political speech, ceremonies, and various other public and private events celebrating the history, government, and tradition of the United States. It's the National Day of the United States. They forgot kind of about drinking lots of beer. Oh, the you beer know goes what? on sale, drinking lots of beer. Oh, the you beer know goes what? on sale for a lot. One of the things, actually, we'll You're also the previous years for the fourth of July. Yeah, our, our friends believe it. So the environment see doing it for a couple of years, but communities that traditionally do it no matter what, you know they have sponsors paying for it? No. Because uh, it, it, it is a it is an environmental hazard to do fireworks displays, which means watch the baseball games are going to get shut down, mm -hmm. and uh, boarding events will all have fireworks shut down, and Disney will probably have its fire. I mean, that tells you everybody that supported the president for election is getting thrown under the bus because it's an environmental hazard, and it can take as long as seven years mm -hmm. to go through the court system. Mm -hmm. So. Sucks, doesn't it, folks? That's what yeah, happens when you. As I, I, I love it. The, you know, the only person in the world that doesn't think that Obama is a socialist is Bill O'Reilly. Oh, really? Yeah, he's mm -hmm. Bill O'Reilly. He's too intelligent to be doing these things. Uh -huh. Yeah, intelligence has nothing to do with it. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. um, I love it. During the American Revolution, the legal separation of the 13 states from Great Britain occurred July 2nd, 1776, when the Second Constitutional Congress voted to approve a resolution of independence that had been proposed in June by Richard Henry Lee. That's Light Horse Harry Lee, folks. That's the father of uh, Robert E. Lee. After voting for independence, Congress turned its attention to the Declaration of Independence Committee explaining the decision which had been prepared by the Committee of Five with Thomas Jefferson as principal. He wrote the whole thing, folks. Mm -hmm. He wrote the whole thing because other people didn't want to. Basically, if this was one of those things where we, if we, hang, we either hang together or we hang separately, they rudder hang separately. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, Congress debated and revised the declaration, finally approving it on July 4th, the day earlier John Adams had written to his wife, Abigail. So. Oh, really? Yeah, that's oh. what it says there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. This will be the most memorable epic in the history of America. I'm apt to believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as the Great Anniversary Festival. It ought to be commemorated as the Day of Deliverance by solemn acts of devotion to God Almighty. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires and illuminations from one end of the continent to the other, bonfires and illuminations from one end of the continent to the other, from this time forward, Forevermore. Yeah. Um, Which is what they. 
blonde haired guy that has got, the, you know, the blonde on that they seem to show a lot. Oh, really? I, think, I, think, did, I stood up with everybody else and I, I, well, I you know, a lot of times they darken my hair, but they wanted, they want, I, was, I was playing a Haitian. You know, there's still a lot of people with dark hair in Hollywood. I know, but they don't like blonde hair in a lot of things. So they deliberately change your hair oh, color. Oh, do you think it has to do with, um, well, like when we work, your hair kind of like disappears? That's why. Do you think I, that, it, that has anything no, to do with it? No, it's why I don't, I generally don't take my hat off because, see, I got a, I have a light background. My hair goes into, the, I can't green screen. Yeah, but I just thought about it. I mean, I knew the challenges yeah. that we have because of yeah. green screen and other things, but do you think that's why Hollywood prefers dark hair? Yeah. One of the reasons because they can't do effects with. Uh, Although with, the women have a lot of blonde hair, but the women. But then it's not they, the same color blonde as no, the men's but hair. No, what happens is my hair does melt into the background. But when you're playing a Haitian soldier and you're supposed to be a German, you need to look, you know, Aryan. So, hmm. but uh, Adam, Adam's prediction was off by two days from the outset. Well, yeah, it was. It was originally, like I said, July second or the second day of July. Uh, the problem was Adams is the one. Remember, John Adams was not really loved by a lot of people, folks. I mean, John Adams was thought, him and his son John, I mean, we're talking the Adams, both were pains in the asses. Nobody really liked him, but they actually, uh, we're talking about two guys that dedicated their life to this country were the Adamses. Mm. Go look at the Adams Chronicles if they ever show it in your local PBS station. It was a good show. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the basically the the you know, the date the revolution uh, resolution of independence was approved in a closed session of Congress. That's what it actually was official was the fourth of July, not the second, because the second they were debating it. Mm -hmm. They they actually uh, the, here's one though. They there been a debate whether the Declaration of Independence was signed on the fourth, even though Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and Benjamin Franklin all later wrote that they signed it on that day. Most historians have concluded the declaration was signed nearly a month after its adoption. August the 2nd, no adoption. August the 2nd, no adoption. up. That was the, that, that's the day they, they came out and basically all decided to get hung together. Mm -hmm. Remember they signed it, all of the John Hancock? Mm -hmm. Made certain that if they were going to hang somebody, John Hancock would be hung first. But when, when, when it was written, it was decided that Tom, I also have a degree in history, that John, you know, that Thomas Jefferson could hang by himself. But then when they signed it, they all decided, well, we're all going to hang, we might as well hang together. And, and, and John Hancock wanted to make certain, I'm going to hang first, folks. So that's why he's got hang first, John Hancock. So he's got that big John Hancock. But, uh, Later to serve as president of the United States, died on the same day, which was Adams and Jefferson, and that's something. Mm. July, guess what date? Can, can take a guess what day the only two presidents to have signed the Declaration of Independence would have died on? What? July 4th. Oh, really? Is that what it is? They died July 4th, 1826, which was the first. They died July 4th, 1826, the anniversary of the Declaration. Oh. Uh, basically, here's one, although not a signer of the president was born on July 4th and was the only president ever to be born on Independence Day. <laughs> well, that's kind of a, wow. Yeah, I knew Calvin Coolidge and a few folks. I mean, Wait, what did you say? I knew Calvin Coolidge. Well, you've seen him over at, over at the store. I mean, he, uh, he, he's the uh, Orson Bean. Oh, it is? Yeah, remember? Oh. I've also seen him over at, the, over at the auto show where he called me. You know, I'm a, I, I'm a, I'm a, a traitor. Yeah. He called you traitor. I was wearing my press badge. He says traitor. Oh. So he was wearing my press. Badge. He says, traitor. So yeah, because he's the guy. He's the dealer. Uh, and in 1776, 13 gunshots were fired. Once that morning again, an evening fell on July 4th in um, Rhode Island. Philadelphia celebrated the first anniversary in a matter. A modern American would be familiar. An official dinner. Uh, uh, toes, 13 guns, loose speeches, prayers, music, mm -hmm. parades, troop reviews, and fireworks. Shifts were decorated with red, white, and blue bunny. I mean, don't remember folks. I mean, understand. Here's a good one. What, what, when do you think I got married? When? Uh, 1976. Really? Yep. Yeah, the centennial. Mm. I like that. I got many of them. I like that. I got married.
something on, you know. Yeah, 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 wait, no, wait, 76? 76 was 35 years ago. 35 years ago. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, uh, I got married then, so that was advice. We decided to do that thing. Uh, <laughs> and don't well, you love it? We decided to do that thing. Yeah, well, get married. Oh, no. It's a long, grown out thing. I had to get married twice once for me and once for her family. So it was the family that I was not really pleased with. So it cost a fortune. Did you ever have Frank Sinatra sing at your wedding? No, actually. I, I actually didn't. I was going to say, did Frank Sinatra actually sing? I was going to say, did Frank Sinatra actually sing? No. He danced with he my did. wife. With his wife, and he had came with money to sing at his wedding, and he's dancing with the guy's wife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they had a good laugh. And they're all coming over, and I'm doing. There she danced. Were you singing Frank Sinatra songs while he danced oh, with your yeah. wife? Oh yeah, I also. Strangers in the night. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, talk about Independence Day. <laughs> that, was, yeah, that was not. You know, I got had so. But in 1778, uh, George Washington marked the fourth with a double ration of rum for his soldiers at an artillery salute. Across the Atlantic Ocean, Ambassador John Adams and Benjamin Franklin held a dinner for their fellow Americans in Paris, France. France. And you can't, you know, you can't order them on the internet. It just doesn't work. Oh, really? No, because oh, no. maybe I'll try it like this. Maybe I'll try it like this. Maybe I'll try it like this. I'm home. <laughs> um, in 1779, July 4th fell on a Sunday. The holiday was celebrated on Monday. Those are what they call convenience holidays. They were doing it back then. Oh, yeah. Well, because there were, uh, basically we had blue laws across the United States when the country was first formed, which means oh, you couldn't yeah. do anything on Sundays. Yeah, I can guarantee you, we're talking Southern California, we're talking uh, cities oh. in California could not celebrate mm -hmm. the 4th on the day the 4th fell, fell on a Sunday. Because it was a violation of the blue laws. Oh, really? Yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't businesses weren't allowed to be open, so. If the businesses weren't open, you couldn't go in and get beer and stuff when you were running out. So. Um, but in 1781, the Massachusetts General Court became the first state legislature to recognize the 4th as a state mm -hmm. celebration. Uh, 1783, Monrovians in Salem, North Carolina had a celebration with, cha with a challenging music program assembled by, oh, Johann Frederick Peter. The work was the mm -hmm. Psalm of Joy. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, in 1791, the first recorded use of the name Independence Day occurred. In 1820, the first Fourth of July celebration was held in Eastport, Maine, which remains the largest in the state. In 1870, Congress made Independence Day an unpaid holiday for federal workers. Really? Yeah, I was going to say that was before. It, it, it is a paid holiday. Now we're getting into the time when I'm alive, folks. In, in 1938, Congress changed. You weren't alive year. then. I, this, my, this, I'm, oh, it didn't become official until my birthday. Oh, right. They approved it and they went to court to stop it because they, they, uh, they didn't think that federal employees should be paid for doing nothing. Well, yeah. There was a big battle over that yeah. and the legal system, basically the court sided with the Congress. So, so but, now we're going down to customs and what people are doing now for the 4th of July. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah, customs. So, in addition to a fireworks show, Miami lights one of its tallest buildings with patriotic red, white, and blue. The color scheme on Independence Day. I think. 